Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm basically going to try like a bunch of different style aesthetics. I don't even know what I would consider my own style aesthetic. Like I look at it and I honestly can't tell you. So if anyone can tell me from any of these pictures from my Instagram what my style aesthetic is, that would be great. But I'm gonna try out a bunch today. I haven't even really decided which ones I'm going to try out yet, but we're gonna hop into Pinterest and look up like a bunch of different style aesthetics and see if I'm able to recreate them. So let's just get started. Okay, opening Pinterest. Our first aesthetic that I want to try is cottage core. I only love you when you're so let me look up cottage core like outfits. Oh, I can't spell. Okay, as I scroll through, basically I'm seeing a bunch of like super flowy floral and like light colored dresses, really cute like soft hairstyles, straw hats, just all that kind of stuff. Picnics. I feel like it's such a cottage core girl things go on picnics the like little head scarf thingies i don't really have any of those okay so after scrolling through that what we're looking for in the outfit is floral kind of like a flowy either like midi or short dress like a straw hat or a head scarf or like a big bow and really cute hairstyle i can't really tell for shoes i think like lots of them wear like like i feel like the shoes are always covered up so maybe just like a light colored like sneaker or something and like straw like bags like lots of them are carrying like picnic baskets and little like straw bags so i think that's what we're looking for so let's jump over to my closet and see if we can find that stuff okay welcome to my closet in my super cute pajama shorts and the top which i didn't actually mean to match but the blue actually matches the blues so how cute but we are looking for cottage core outfits and i told you that i think i'm looking for like a floral dress so if i look through my dresses i think this dress is going to be our best bet because it's like florally and frilly and super cute so definitely the vibe so i'll put that there and then i think that this like straw bag is the way to go because it looks very like cottage cool to me and to like incorporate the brown I think for shoes, I'll go like Burks because that's like the brown of the bag. And I feel like this is more of a cottage core vibe rather than like sneakers. Like I feel like this is definitely more cottage core. And then I might like put my hair in like a little half up, half down with a bow because I don't have like a head scarf or anything. So let me hop into this and see if this fits the aesthetic okay here is the cottage core outfit on i have my burks on as you can see and this cute little floral dress and the little straw handbag i put my hair in like a little half up half down hairstyle unfortunately i didn't have a little white bow in my drawer so i just like left it plain but you can imagine the vibe and i definitely think that this outfit totally hits the mark it's super cute super stylish i definitely i haven't worn this dress out yet so i can't wait to wear it out because it's so cute but i might have to wait for the springtime so that i can wear this for like a little cottage core picnic vibes so cottage core might be my aesthetic and my style because I absolutely love this. It's such a cute dress, so comfy. This is definitely an outfit that I would actually wear out in public. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Our second aesthetic we're going to try and recreate is 90s aesthetic. I want to be like messy. So let's just go like 90s fashion. Okay, as I scroll through, I see a lot of like black chunky belts with the silver buckle. I see lots of like baggy denim jeans and a big oversized shirt so kind of like a boyish look some of them have like tights little singlets or baby tees and then the pants and then you get things like the colorful like little mini skirts and little crop top to match so now these can be either like grunge or like cute and short like i don't really know i think we might go for more like the grungy 90s look we should be looking for like baggy jeans a black belt with like the big silver buckle and then like a 
grungy shirt, maybe like a cardigan or like a little little black or white like singlet or something. And lots of them have flannels as well. So if I have a flannel and maybe like ducks, I can't really tell their shoes. Lots of them are wearing white sneakers, so Air Forces. I don't know, let's go experiment and see what I can find in my closet. We're looking for 90s. Let's start with some baggy jeans. My jeans are down here. We can't see in my drawer. Now, this wash is a little bit light, but I only have two pairs of jeans and they're both light wash. And these are like the baggiest ones that I have. So I don't know if this is like the right color for the 90s, but this is the best bet that we're going to get. And because they're a bit baggy and everyone always cinches the waist, I have this belt. It's like black with like the big chunky silver buckle. And I definitely saw like these two things like paired together in a bunch of 90s looks. So these are definitely perfect. And then I think, bear with me, this cardigan over the top. I think this is the best option that I have because it's like a little tight cardigan, but I definitely think that this like print is like the 90s vibe. So I think we're gonna go with this one and then I'm going to pair it with my ducks for like the full grunge look and effect. So that's gonna be our 90s outfit. Hopefully this actually fits the 90s theme. I don't really know, but that is what we're going with. So. 90s outfit locked in let's have a look what it looks like okay this is my 90s grungy outfit with my ducks on and i think it turned out pretty good to be honest like i think this does hit the vibe i was trying to see if there was anything i needed to do with my hair but i feel like most people had like big blowouts and stuff like that so i don't have time to re like wet and blow dry my hair so this is like the biggest it's gonna get but I definitely think that this is a 90s vibe. I would actually wear this outfit out, but it is super hot in this right now. Like I am sweating. It is getting to winter in Australia, but it is not this cold yet, especially during the day. So I'm like so hot right now, but that's okay. Anything for the video. Honestly, I just think it's super cute, like super fun, fresh, funky. And I love this belt. It looks so cute. On. Moving on to the next aesthetic. Okay, next up, I'm thinking soft girl aesthetic. And before I even search that up, I know that it's lots of like pastels and like little skirts and tops and dresses and like really just like cute basic girl looks. Yeah, literally straight away, it's like super pastel and white and light bright colors. So that's what we're looking for, like bright colors, lots of pinks, air forces, like always the white shoe. Nothing really much with the hair. I've seen one girl with a ponytail and one girl with a little bucket hat, but it's always like the little skirt and top. They also have like adapted like the little like schoolgirl skirt and cardigan with the collar look or like little like picnic dresses, short little dresses, lots of floral as well in this look. So let's go jump into my wardrobe and see if I can find any of that. Okay, back in the wardrobe picking outfits. We're looking for soft girl this time. So I think I wanna start with a skirt as like the piece that will bring everything together. And I remember everything was like pastels and like pink. So I think I have the perfect skirt, if I can get it out. Oh, let's bring another one with it. Which is this little like florally pastel with lots of pinks through it skirt i definitely think that this fits the soft girl aesthetic and i feel like they always have like tiny little like singlet tops or stuff like that on the top and i want to keep with the pink theme so i think if i pair it with this like little pink singlet that is definitely the moment right there and then i'm trying to think like shoes bags for a bag i might actually use this little pink Peter and Jane bag, just keeping the pink theme because I know that they always have like heaps of colors and stuff in their outfits. And then when they wear, I'm gonna wear my Air Forces, but they're out there, so I'm not gonna grab them. So I think white sneakers, but I think they always have like a bit of like a longer sock. So if I open my sock drawer. So I have these like medium length, like socks that are white and I'll like scrunch them down and then they stick out of your shoes a little bit. And I think that that is going to be, oh, just drop the socks. I think that that is going to be the soft girl look. Let's hop into that one real quick. 
Okay, here is my soft girl aesthetic. I honestly think it turned out super cute. Like I absolutely would wear this outfit in real life and I probably already have worn a pretty similar outfit. I ended up clipping my hair up in a little pink clip as you can see because I think like the hair clip style is definitely a soft girl thing. And then I am wearing my Air Forces with like longer socks as you can see and like the little pink matching bag and honestly I think this outfit is so cute. I'm absolutely in love with it. I already love this skirt, so it's really not that hard to convince me to love this outfit. But yes, I'm so obsessed. This is definitely something I would wear day to day, so maybe I am a soft girl. Okay, I really want to have a look at e-girl aesthetic. Welcome to the planet room. I already know from TikTok that it's very like dark, like black and white colors. There's lots of people always wear those like stripy long sleeves, but I didn't think I have one of those. My brothers might. I'll have to go investigate in their wardrobe. Lots of chains and big like belts with like all like the big loops and chains hanging off it. Fishnet stockings, big like chunky boots like docks and stuff like that. They always have dark hair as well, or like the the split hair, which I'm obviously not dyeing my hair, but. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of like cinched waists with belts, lots of dark colors with a little bit of white in there, fishnets, like the plaid schoolgirl skirts, lots of like chokers and big chunky boots, chains. So I think that's what we're gonna look for. And let's go investigate my wardrobe to see if I have any of that or maybe my brother's mine. Okay, e-girl. They always are wearing little like schoolgirl skirts and i don't even have any like dark colored skirt and the only schoolgirl skirt i have is white so this may not be like fully on brand but like the style is so i think we're just gonna have to stick with this one and i've already looked in my brother's wardrobes so they don't have a strappy long sleeve so i think that i'll wear this like black long sleeve turtleneck over the top but then i'm going to put my Skeggs Everything Sucks t-shirt over that. So it's like a long sleeve under the t-shirt and then the little schoolgirl skirt. And then I used to have a belt that had like heaps of those like little eyelet loops, but it's at Alex's house. So the only like kind of funky belt that I have is this one with all these studs. And it normally has like a little bomb bag on it. So it might look like weird put on, but that is going to be the belt cinching the waist. And then I think I might have a chain. Yes, it's still there. Okay, I have this chain. I don't know how or where I will attach it. I think maybe to the belt, but I can put this chain on the belt as well. And unfortunately, I don't have any like necklace chains. Like I only have a gold one and that's all silver. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have the chains up top because I don't have any but then we're gonna pair it with the docks and then these are like black long socks but they're not like super long so i think i'll put these on but i don't have any like knee high socks unfortunately so we're just gonna have to stick with these ones so that is our ego look let's see what it looks like on i am now in my ego aesthetic this feels so weird. This is definitely not my style at all. Like I said, this was like the only chain I had and the only like a belt I had. So hopefully I like styled it okay. I know like the white skirt is totally in contrast to the whole thing, but it's the best that I could find. Once again, there isn't like that many hairstyles that I see them do other than like dyeing their hair with colors. And obviously I'm not gonna dye my hair. So they do have usually like short hair though. So I have that part down pat. And then I just have my ducks on with some like longer black socks and this is my ego look. Okay, our next and final aesthetic is going to be 70s aesthetic. Because I just got a pair of pants that I think will be absolutely perfect for this. So they're like the flared pants, lots of like florals and crazy patterns. As you can see, there's lots of colors, lots of people wearing like striped turtlenecks i don't know if mine will be as colorful but i'm really drawing inspiration from this picture with like the headband the big earrings the flared pants the boots and like the turtleneck sweater i think it's such like a cute 70s look so 
I'm pretty sure I can put this look together inspired. So let's go attempt all of these looks. Okay, we're doing 70s aesthetic and I already have the pants in my hand because they weren't in my wardrobe, they were on my bed. But these are brand new like flared floral print pants that I have. And I think that these are absolutely a 70s style print. So we're gonna start with these, which means that the top's gonna have to be a super neutral color. And I feel like turtleneck sweaters were super in. So I'm going to pair it with this, which isn't quite a turtleneck, but it's like a cute little like cropped sweater. And then they always had boots on. So then I have my white ducks and I think I'll wear these. And then I saw a girl, the intro I'm taking from, she had a headband. So then I have a white headband. And then finally, these are the biggest earrings I own. So these like little gold earring things. And I think that is the 70s look. And I know you guys might be disappointed because it's not super colorful, but this is the best I can come up with. Okay, here is my 70s look. I think it's pretty cool. I have my white ducks on with these pants and the white headband with like little bits sticking out. And you can see like the big earrings, hopefully you can see from there. And honestly, I think this outfit is so cute. Like catching me wearing this outfit this winter. Like I absolutely will be in this outfit. It is so cute, so stunning. I'm obsessed with the pants. Like these are some of my favorite pants I've ever owned. Just like look how cool that print is. I can't even get over it. But yes, I love this outfit. It is so cute. One of my favorite outfits ever. Like 10 out of 10, I would absolutely wear this outfit. It's so cute. Definitely feels like super trendy for like now as well. So yeah, I love this, 10 out of 10, perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below if you feel like it. Go over and follow my Instagram for more updates over there. And I'll see you guys with another video soon. Bye.